Hi guys and welcome back to a new video. I thought it would finally be time to do an updated uh, K-pop photo card collection flip through sort of thing. Um, I haven't done one since almost a year ago and that's like a very different video I guess just because I was like in a very different time of my life back then like Oh, Sophie just keeps telling me to make this video because um, I sound so different in the other one. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's very cringy for me to watch that video and my collection has expanded a lot since then. So I thought I'd go through it with you guys. I have this chunky, super heavy binder which has all my Cheryong stuff. And then I have a smaller binder to go through with everything that's not itsy and to make this video a bit more interesting i'm gonna start with that one before we begin i am trying out like a different setup today i realized that filming on my phone gives like makes the video quality a lot better but it is really hard um to film on my phone uh on my desk so right now i'm trying this out i'm trying to film this like on my bed um so it's a bit different but let me guy let me know what you guys think about the setup and stuff it's all like pretty much a work in progress anyways um this is my non itsy binder <laughs> kind of so i collect uh bi or hanbin who used to be an icon um stray kids chan and changbin as well as Unche from Bagaboo. I also have an almost complete Cheon collection from Icewan, but I consider that like low-key complete. Um, it's not like an active collection in the same sense. But yeah, let's just start. First off, we have my Hanbin collection. In this first page, I have his it's like a mix of icon stuff. I just wanted to feel like a full page. Um, so this one is from the Mix and Match DVD, which is uh, their pre-debut survival show. And then these two are from the debut era. So this one is from the half debut and this is from the full debut album. I don't have any um, new kids begin cards just because I don't really know. I like started out with these six cards and then like kind of went backwards. And I love these cards so, so much that I don't really have like space for one. So that's kind of why. So I have these two, which are so, so cute. I think this one is the black version and this is the red version. Um, and then we have continue and this is the red version and this is the blue version which is very fitting because of his clothes <laughs> and this is the um, return no this is the new kids repackage album yeah so this is the red version so i pulled this is the red version and this is the black version and i pulled this one in my album which i'm so so happy about and then we have my solo collection or whatever. So these are the waterfall photo cards. I'm still missing two, um, but I'm getting there, I guess. So I have all of the seaside cards, which are these four, and I'm missing two of the waterfall version photo cards. But they are so, so cute and I love this album so much. I pulled uh, this one in my album, which I'm so, so happy about because it's like one of my favorite cards. These two are like my favorites and the backs are super cute. So you can see that these are the waterfall version and these are the seaside version. And I just think it's so, so cute. <laughs> and then this is my kind of sad Cosmos page. Um, so there are three versions, I think it's Earth, Star, Moon, I think, and 
um i have these two because i have these two versions and you get like one card per album um and i'm like slowly gonna focus on this page <laughs> it's just like not been a priority at all but they're super cute nonetheless then i have this postcard which is from his pop-up event he did it was like the first real event he had and he handed this out like to the people who went there um and it has like a little letter in the back um and this is a waterfall poster i just thought it kind of like fit in here so yeah and then for the waterfall album there were 12 tracks each track has its own like promotional video so there were postcards and there's like one postcard per song on the album uh, with like the photos they're all like from that specific video so i wanted to collect those i only have the three i got in my album <laughs> so i have waterfall illa illa and the help me once these aren't that expensive they're like super cheap so it's really just like my need to focus on that i've just been busy focusing on itzy and then these are like album inclusions and i think this is a really cool inclusion this is like a secret letter so when it's like heated up you have to like hold it against like your palms then like the letter will like come out i don't know i think it's really cool and then we have my stray kids collection um so at first i only collected chan and then i added changbin as he became my bias so you will see that i have a lot of chan cards and not that many changbin cards because once again i've just been focusing on itzy but yeah so um we have mixtape i am you and then the two i am who white borders i think these are like some of the cutest photo cards ever and then I have I am you and two middle cards. And basically what I'm doing is that everything is just going to be like mirrored. So as you can see, these are going to be mixtape and these are going to be I am not. And yeah, so it's just like going to be mirrored like that. Um, and then I have yellow wood. So I have this one is misplaced. I don't know why this is here anyway so oh no it's because that one is there anyway so i have these two for chan and this one for changbin and this one is so so cute because it's like outdoor and like sunny in space and stuff and then we have levanter and beginning of go live these are like the prettiest cards ever i want this card so bad it's gonna be a priority because it's like the prettiest card ever the silver border and the name cards like they're so so pretty oh yeah this is the double sided it's really cute it's really cute and then we have go live um these two are double sided and they're so cute like this one is a problem because i don't know which side i want like at the front of the page but i have this one for now and then we have um noisy and this one christmas evil changbin card so these are the double-sided ones these are the limited ones and then there were four album cards and i like these two the most for chan and these two the most for changbin so it kind of worked out perfectly for me and these are what the backs look like and then we have ordinary so um i got this one in my album <laughs> And I really, really liked it. And I really, really wanted to like show it. And then I also got that one. And Sungmin is my third bias. So I decided to do like the spread like this, just cause it makes sense to me at least since I wanted that card so bad to like be in the collection. So yeah, this is a random like three person page. And then we have my Bagaboo collection, which is very small, but very precious to me. Um, it's This is actually my first ever like Polaroid that I've ever got. And I got it at my, the in-person fan sign I went to. 
and yeah it's just so cute <laughs> it's so cute honestly so these are the four uh bugaboo cards this one is a lenticular which is super cute i don't know if you guys can see it i hope so and then we have a like concept photo and then two selfie photo cards and then for pop there are two um selfie photo cards and then i have two pre-order benefits so it's gonna fill out this page really really nicely and i'm so excited about it and then we have my like finished cheon collection so basically what i'm missing is the hard eyes um no the color eyes uh unit cards so there's two of them that's like the only thing i'm missing other than that i'm like complete with her collection i want wm to do something with her like who thought when ice one disbanded that she would be the last member to debut like i did not like where is she i need her Ugh, so annoying and then i have this card which was like a pop-up event card i basically got it when like for free when i bought like a huge load of other cards so i just have it kind of <laughs> and we have blue mice um which there are six cards per version. So I decided to do a layout like this because there are three versions. And I think it's so, so stunning. It's like one of my favorite spreads in like all my collections. So it's really fun. So this is the, I think I was, I am, I will. Don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure it's like that. And these three are AR cards. So you can like scan them. And then there's like a video. And I just like put them like this. So it's more fun than all of them like being on the same side. Same with the message cards. I just put them like this. So in this case, it works out really well because these four have the same like outfit and then there's an outfit change. And yeah, I don't know, just makes sense to me, I guess. And these cards are just so, so cute. I love them all so much. And the bags for these cards are just so pretty. So yes, I'm really happy about that. And then these are Kino cards. So these two are from Blue Mice and these two are from One Eric Diary. And One Eric Diary is my favorite era. And therefore it is the one era I decided to collect inclusions for. <laughs> so this is the page. It's so, so pretty. I love these cards so much. And I just can't decide like a favorite because they're all so cute. And I love that the backs were all like according to the member colors. I think it's so, so gorgeous. And then we have like her room. So in one of the versions, you got like a room sticker, which is basically just like an empty room in the in their like member color. And then in another version, you got this sticker sheet with like stickers to decorate the room. So I did that because I think it's just so cute. And then I used the sticker sheet uh, as a background to the four cut photo you got. And then this is a scratch card, which is just so cute. It's so cute. <laughs> and then we have one reeler, which I really thought they would have like another comeback after this, but they didn't. But alas, it is like really the end of an era because like they went out with a bang. This song is so good and it's like so nostalgic. Even when it came out, it was like a nostalgic like feel to it, I guess. But anyway, so this is like scene one, scene two, scene three versions. And the same thing here, these three are AR cards. Um, scene one is like my absolute favorite like these two cards are so freaking cute like are you kidding me eh. and then this one this is the one like she's so pretty i want her to like come back immediately like asap i need her right now preferably yesterday and uh, yeah this is the like pre-order card that you got if you pre-order the album um I just like didn't have a space for it so i just put it in the back and for the keto since it was their last <laughs> i decided to do my top two which is cheon and chewon so hello chewon <laughs> she's also there and that's like it for my non cheon stuff 
Um, so yeah, let's just get into that. This is my first page. I think the next update to this collection will be me adding another binder to separate album no like uh, photo card size things from like bigger inclusions and stuff because these are all photo cards and then this bunch is all like bigger inclusions i think that would be like a very necessary update i guess but anyway let's get into it <laughs> first we have album cards um this is the ic page with the pre-order benefit you got um, which is like a Polaroid style photo card from Dalla Dalla because there was no physical release of that album or single or whatever and this is actually like the first card I ever traded it's so so cute I mm, like this is the era that like started everything for me so it's very special and dear to my heart and this card is my absolute favorite this era then we have It's Me, or Wannabe, which is so cute. So we had three versions, It's Me, Wannabe version. Um, and I just put them like in the order they are, I guess. And then we had like unit cards making their first appearance. So I have them in like um, age order. One thing that like annoys me a bit is the fact that Yeji's has like a green border while the rest have like the blue purple-ish border. Maybe that's just me, but it kind of annoys me. <laughs> but it's okay because this card is like one of the cutest ones. So it's okay. And from this page, this one is my absolute favorite. I love like um, the si signed like photo cards. They're just so cute. Then we have Not Shy. Oh my god, this is like one of my favorite pages. It's just so cute because somehow it just feels like, I don't know, just like the feel of this page. It's like they were all taken with like the same kind of like saturation filter or whatever. I don't really know, but it just looks so, so it just looks so so cohesive and I love it so much so there were three versions then too and it was just like version A, B, C <laughs> and it kind of worked out perfectly that the B one is like the up close selfie one and also my favorite so that is in the middle and same here units are like in age order and they're just so cute and there are the backs I love the backs too they're they make everything look like super cohesive and like it just looks so good. Then we get into Guess Who, which I collected OT5 for this era. I had a lot of album cards and I still have a lot of album cards that I can't for the life of me get rid of because I applied for a fan sign this era and I met Cheong for the first time, which was very nerve wracking and exciting. So first off, we have the hidden cards, which were like the pre-order cards super cute and in the back it all says like who is the mafia and they've written it all like in their own handwriting i think that's really cute and then we have like the crystal ball set which is super cute like look at the bags here like it's so cute and then we have like the lollipop set the like yellow back set i don't really know what to call it and then like the caution tape set <laughs> which is so cute then we get into crazy in love which i very recently finished like just in time for their comeback go me so in total there ended up being 10 album cards and it's gonna be the same with checkmate um i don't have like my checkmate stuff in here yet because i just don't have enough like on hand yet so it would look like super empty and boring but yeah so i decided to do this set ot5 and these like filler pages are with like the stickers from the album i think it's so cute um so this is like the lollipop set which is so so cute like my favorite set that era and then this is 
the rest of the album cards i put this one in the middle because it's my absolute favorite this era and then these four are the special edition so i think that these are like the bigger one and these are the jewel case but i'm not sure don't quote me on that and then these are the other album cards and like look at the backs of these cards they're just so so cute this era was just like it was everything to me and to so many other people and i just love it so much for now i only have this one voltage card for their japanese releases but that's gonna change soon they're having another japanese comeback with blah 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 and i have joined a group order for the uh, fan club version so i'm super excited about that and then now we get into like non-album stuff so first off i have like official merch things or whatever you want to call it so this is the lightning photo cards and these are the light green case photo cards. This page is so, so cute. I love this page so much. And I don't usually like non-selfie photo cards. But this one is just so cute. They all look, they all look super adorable. And I just love it so much. Then we have my fan club kit. I have bought the second generation fan club. And then we have like the... Guess who? Limited edition, like, set. Um, so, like, everyone who bought the album got this, like, OT5 set. Then we have CSI trading cards. So, CSI was, like, a YouTube show they did on their channel, uh, which was really fun, like, a game show, kind of. So, these are, like, the trading cards. And then we have the season greetings. So in the season greeting, you got like two OT5 sets. So I call it like the day and night version. Um, and yeah, they're just like super, super cute. So I thought it would be a good idea to like store them like this. So they're all like kind of together. And then we have um, season greeting trading cards. I only have this one, but it's eight. Same as with the CSI trading cards. Um, this is going to be like a priority too, because they're really cheap and it shouldn't be that hard to finish this page. Then we have this little page, which are fo like photo cards <laughs> you got when you bought the Itzy Nylon magazine. Um, I'm not like a magazine collector, but these were just so cute. Like I had to buy it because like... The photos, like, oh, they look amazing. And look at the backs of these cards. Like, aren't they just amazing? Like, it's so cute. So I'm so happy I have those. And then now we get into, like, other non-album things. So first off, we have... Um, this is my Dalla Dalla broadcast photo print. So this is, like, the people who went to, like, the pre-recordings got this one there's three different ones and i have the first version which is also my favorite <laughs> and then this is the isaac print so the people who went to the isaac recording got these cards and she's so pretty this is like one of my favorite cards ever and recently i got these two which are from uh, a kind of like lucky draw event situation uh, with Soundwave, I'm pretty sure. Uh, so this was during Wannabe era. There are both these that are photo prints and then there are the same photos but as like photo cards. So I have these two and they're super cute. I'm really happy about it. This is like one of my favorite pages in my binder. So these two are my IC broadcast cards. This is day one and this is day two. Um, the day one card is like top three Cheon cards in my whole binder. Like, it's the reason I wanted to start collecting non album. Uh, so she's the reason this whole mess started basically. And then these are voice Polaroids. This is also during Wannabe era. Um, 
I think there's Soundwave. But I'm not sure, like don't quote me on that. But yeah, there's three different versions. And then this is um, Not Shy Era. So this is the With Fans Hollow card. This is the Light Ring Pop-Up Store Benefit card, which is so pretty. And then this is the Sub K Video Call Winner card. And then this page is Not Shy Pre-Order Benefits which was the perfect era for pre-order benefits because there were only nine of them. <laughs> so these two are with fans and this one is sub K. These three are my music taste. They're like one round one, two, three, but I put this one in the middle because it's like different than all the others. It was like during the Halloween call. It was like the first group order I held. Um, yeah, it's like a little lenticular, super cute. And then these two are Tower Records, and this is with Drama. So, from here on out, everything is just like, <laughs> kind of laid out. <laughs> like, I don't really know. So, we have Klalen. This is like a winner card. I think there's 25 sets of this one. So, Klalen is like a contact lens company that it's your ambassadors for so this was like a thing you could win like in a raffle and it's so so cute i never thought i'd own this card um but i'm so happy i have it and then this is the guess who limited edition photo card it kind of just ended up here because i did like ot5 for the other things i didn't really have like a spot for it so it kind of just like ended up here and then we have we drama I think this is Interpark, this is Sinara, Aladdin, and then from here on out I have no idea. I think this is Soundwave, this is with fans, and this is Tokopedia, um, Tower Records, I'm missing the other concept version, Tower Records, Hello82, and um, Messima Shop, yeah, with fans. With drama, sound wave, with fans. No, oh. I don't know. Like at this point, like there's so many, I just don't know. But I think this is with fans too. This is maybe sound wave or with drama. Like they had so many rounds. This was a buyer event. Uh, so this is like in the tennis outfits and that was like one of my favorite outfits this era so i'm so happy to have that one and then we have maybelline cards so this is version one and this is version two this is the um the holographic edition so you can't really tell like on camera barely in person too but it is holographic and it's super pretty and then we have this freaking <laughs> chicken card so last year they had a collaboration with the fried chicken brand so there were these photo cards if you bought fried chicken <laughs> and it's so cute hilariously this is one of my favorite cherry on cards and then we get into crazy and love pre-order benefits which i'm still missing like quite a few but yeah so this is the us edition this is my music taste this is Sinara, Aladdin, with drama. This is a lucky draw from with drama. The other lucky draw. This is Busan Depart. This is, it's like a Chinese company. I can't pronounce it. It's like Q O O ten or something. I have no idea. <laughs> Tower Records, um, Messi Mashop. Shopee, um, Apple Music, the pre-order one. It's so cute. This is like, so these cards are so expensive now because they're wearing like the cat ears, but I'm so happy I have this. It's so cute. Um, Hello 82. And these two are Soundwave Lucky Draws. And if you bought like a certain amount, you got this holographic sticker, which is really pretty. And then we have Mesma Shop, Mesma Shop. 
Apple Music Round 1. This is also like one of my favorites, especially this era. It's super, super pretty. This is, I think you call sound content or something like that. And then this, no, these two are sound wave. The sound content one is like further in the back. So these two are sound wave. Uh, this is with drama, I think. And this is with drama. Then this too, <laughs> I think. And this, I have no idea at this point. These two came together at least. This is, these two are Apple Music uh, version two and three. And then this is sound content. I'm pretty sure they're called sound content. And then this is Soundwave, and it came in a set with this one that I don't have. <laughs> and then we have another Maybelline card, uh, another something with drummer, Soundwave. And this is like the last uh, video call they did. It was Christmas themed. And let me tell you, Loco was released in September. This tells you how many like rounds of video calls there were. Because this one was during Christmas, like it was crazy. And then we have four um, winner cards from the video calls. Um, I think these are with drama. This is sound wave, I think. And this is sound content. This one is super cute. It has like the, it's like holographic, but only the glasses are like holographic. It's super cute. It's my favorite. That's why it's in the middle. <laughs> and then I have a season greeting, like benefit cards. So like if you bought for a certain amount, you got like a card. Um, and then this is my ticket from the fan meeting that I went to. Um, and these are the same kind of gist as with this. If you bought a certain amount of like fan meeting merch, you got this. So this is an ID card and this is also like an actual ID, <laughs> but not just a card, I guess, but it's cute. It has like her signature in the back and stuff. And then we get into like bigger stuff. <laughs> First off, like from the beginning of time, <laughs> when you pre-order an Itzy album, you get a postcard set. And there's usually at least one set, <laughs> usually. So this is the icy pre-order like postcard set. So there's two versions. I think it's it's icy version. I always mix those two versions up. Anyway, I have Cherions, and then I have the other members and like the pockets. I don't really know why I have them. I just didn't know what to do with them, kind of. And then you also got these like stickers. Then we have Wannabe. So for Cherong, Cherong is the only one where I have like all the three versions because I only like um, pre ordered two of them. I didn't pre order this version. So I had to like buy this later on. Uh, but yeah, I have the It's Me Wannabe versions. And then I have the Me and Wannabe versions. Um, for the other members and this set is so pretty the pockets <laughs> and then not shy uh, we only had one postcard set but we had like the temporary tattoos situation so these are Cheryong's temporary tattoos and her postcard then we have the other members and the pockets <laughs> and then for guess who there was like the like mini poster thing um and if you bought the album from hello 82 which i had like a small group order for um you could get like a signed mini poster so i have cheong signed mini poster and then just like the normal one and then these are the postcards so there were two versions the day and night version and they're really pretty and then I have the other members. Then stickers. The same thing, like day and night version. And then this was the limited edition postcard that you got in the limited edition. <laughs> and this 
I didn't know where else to put it. This is also like Clalin, like that same lens company. During like icy era, they had this other like sale thing where you can get this postcard. This is the Chinese version. There's a Korean version too, and it's like a lot bigger, but yeah. I have this one. I'm really happy to have it. And then we have Crazy in Love. So these are the two like Polaroid photos and her standee. I love that they did standees. It's so cute. And then these are from the special edition. So in like the big version, I don't know the name of it. <laughs> You got these like photos. So this is her photo. It's so stunning. Her highlighter is like purple and it looks amazing. And in the jewel case, you got this film strip, which was a really fun like inclusion. And then in the nylon magazine, you got this postcard, super pretty. And then these are from the season greetings. So these two are stickers and then these are her postcards. I love this concept. Like, this is my favorite Itzy concept ever. <laughs> it's so pretty. So then we have the other members. Like, ah, it's so pretty. And then um, this is a postcard that you got when you attended the fan meeting. So it has all the members like written messages and in the back it has like the other members. So that's, that was like a really cute thing. That I didn't expect because we like just got it like when we left. <laughs> so that was super cute. There's also like an A4, but I was out of uh, like one pocket pages when I put this in. So that's gonna have to wait. Um, and then we get into Checkmate. So we have the stickers. And then this version for the postcards. There's another version, which is gonna be <laughs> down there. And these are the other members. And I have like prepped for that. So yeah, that was everything for this updated um, photo card collection flip through. I hope you guys liked this video. In the next video, I'll be making placeholders for Stray Kids Comeback as well as um, a lot of Itzy non-album cards and their Japanese releases <laughs> so that I have more of like an organized binder and collection going forward. So if you're interested then stay around on the channel uh, till when I post that and leave something nice in the comments down below and I'll see you guys in the next one.